A software's portability and versatility can be its greatest asset and selling point, especially in recent years with the rise of tablets and other portable variants, like the Chromebook, for instance, coupled with their stylus. In today's video, we want to compare two of the most popular portable software, or apps if you will, in order to potentially determine which one is best, or at least, which one fits which needs. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Software Overview Alrighty, let's get to know these two software on a general level. Procreate Procreate is a raster graphics editor developed by Savage Interactive. The app is mainly for drawing, painting, and doing simple animation. Recently, the app added the possibility of importing 3D models and painting over them. Procreate is only available on iOS devices, iPad, and iPhone, and costs $9.99 USD, and that is for a one-time purchase. Clip Studio Paint Clip Studio Paint is a drawing app developed by Celsius. Unlike Procreate, Clip supports both bitmap and vector and is used for digital drawing, painting, animation, and comic creation. Clip not only has a wider range than Procreate when it comes to the type of graphic it can deal with, but also the platforms it's available in. Clip can work on Mac OS, Windows, iPad OS, iOS, Android, and Chrome OS. However, when it comes to the price, Procreate is kinder on the wallet as Clip has two versions and neither are cheaper than Procreate. The first one being Clip Studio Paint Pro, which costs $49.99 USD and is best suited for illustration. The second is Clip Studio Paint X for $219 US dollars, which has features that support manga, comics, and animation creation. Interface Procreate. Procreate's interface is incredibly sleek and easy to navigate. It has a minimalist approach and can still look well put together even on a tiny screen. It achieves this look by having only one bar at the top with a mini one on the side. The bar at the top is what hosts all of your tools. From left to right, we have Gallery that takes us back to the starting screen of the software where you can find all your drawings. Next to it is a wrench icon where you have different actions pertaining to the canvas such as exporting, adding a reference, and so on and so forth. Next, we have a magic wand icon with all the different effects. The two remaining icons on the left have selection and manipulation options. On the right are the brush, layer, color, and eraser options with a smudge tool. The sliders on the left can be used to change a brush's size and opacity, coupled with undo and redo buttons. All the space left is for the canvas. The app's default color is a dark gray with white detailing. Clip Studio Paint Right off the bat, Procreate has Clip beat when it comes to the ease of navigation and use of the interface. Clip is known for its grand look and unusual interface, but it's important to keep in mind that this is due to the software's wide range of uses. What's usual in its interface is that it has the menu bar at the top, the toolbar on the left, and the canvas in the middle. However, what makes it unusual and look cramped is all of its extra panels scattered throughout. For instance, the toolbar is accompanied by three different panels that are dynamically related to the toolbar. Their content changes in accordance to the tool selected. The last panel, however, is all about color the wheel, swatches, and so on and so forth. Under the menu bar, we have what we call the command bar, where we can find the most commonly used quick actions, such as undo and redo. On the right side of the software, we have three more panels. The navigation panel showing a preview of the canvas, the layer property panel, and the layers panel. Right next to these panels, we can find a small bar called quick access, which is appropriately named as it hosts different sets of quick actions, just like the command bar. Tools and Workflow Procreate Procreate's tools work very well for what the software is meant to do, drawing and painting. The native brushes on the software are already great in quality and are very versatile. There is also an option to completely customize your brushes as well as download brushes from other creators. In addition, there are a number of effects that you can apply to your work such as aberration and gush and blur to give your paintings a little something special. The color picking feature is implemented in a way that allows you to effectively use it as you paint. All you have to do is hold your finger on a spot and boom, you have the color picked. One common complaint about Procreate is that you cannot see your brush cursor or even preview it as you change it. This can make you confused as to how big or small your brush is going to be. 
so keep that in mind. A great thing about Procreate is that you can drag the selected color from the color icon at the top and use it to fill a spot. Another awesome feature in the software is how you can export a time-lapse video of the creation of your work on the canvas from start to finish, which you can post on your social media. All of these cool features and tools, coupled with an easy-to-navigate minimalist interface, aim to make an illustrator comfortable as they create their next piece while also having everything they need available within reach. Clip Studio Paint Clip Studio Paint also caters to illustrators and animators, but in a much more professional way than Procreate does. While Procreate aims for extreme portability and minimalism, Clip goes into portability and professionalism. It has a wide range of tools available for all of its platforms. The software has many versatile brushes that can be easily customized. It easily rivals Procreate when it comes to the brush engine as Clip has a brush engine just as good as Procreate's. While you could not paint over a 3D model in Clip Studio Paint, you can certainly add 3D models and fully customize them to get the perfect reference. Logically speaking, this is a more focused and better approach to 3D implementation in an illustration software, as a 2D artist is a lot more likely to use a 3D model for reference, not for 3D art purposes, but of course to each their own and that might suit someone who uses a full-fledged 3D software to make their models and then uses Procreate to paint over them on their couch or a coffee shop rather than being stuck to a workspace the whole day. Another great feature in Clip Studio Paint is the possibility to use vectors in a fluid way like raster but being fully scalable. All kinds of rollers and perspective tools are available in the software for all your comic needs. All in all, Clip's tools and workflow are designed in a way that considers the illustrator, comic artist, and animator in every aspect and with professional grade versatility and functionality. Learning Curve Procreate. In this section, right off the bat, Procreate has Clip Studio Beat. It is incredibly easy to use and get the hang of. As we saw with the interface, it is simple and sleek while having all the tools an illustrator would need. Procreate also has a lot of tutorials all around YouTube that explain how to use the software to its full potential. If you are someone starting out their digital art journey, you'll find Procreate super easy to use. Clip Studio Paint. Clip loses to Procreate due to its crowded and overwhelming interface, but that is also due to the fact that the software is professional grade in terms of the abundance of tools and functionalities it has. Luckily though, YouTube is brimming with tutorials that can help you understand and get acquainted with the software. You might find it super hard to get used to at first, but at the end of the day, Clip is worth it in every aspect, especially its wide range of tools and compatible platforms. Final verdict. Okay, so which one is better? As usual, this depends on your needs. If you need something portable, cheap, and easy to use and navigate, well, get Procreate. Do you need something portable? Not so cheap, but you don't mind because you want it to be professional and rich in features and tools that you won't miss when you're away from your workspace? You gotta go with Clip. That's all there is to it. And with that, our video ends. We hope you learned something new from it and hopefully figured out which software is best for you. Or at least you got more ideas and points to consider before going with one or the other. All in all, we hope you enjoyed the video and we hope to see you in our next one. See ya!